All right, let's go to 33. Hey, hey. yep, hey. All right, so let's go this route. Got our weld symbol here. We have the arrow side, so it's gonna be done from the top. Our arrow is pointing over here, so our joint is gonna look like that. Be. All right, let's go to thirty four. Other side, let me work from over here. Be like that. Does that look like the BD you just? Yeah, so that one will be C. 35 is C. showing two welds. I mean, it looks like it's just showing two welds, but it's a surface weld. So that entire surface will get covered and weld. So if they have the circle on the, the tail on the line, just so that it can be all the way across? No, because if that's, that circle would be all the way around. That's all the way around. Yeah, so if we had an all the way around, this little box here would be welded all the way around, all directions would be covered and weld. So, yeah, in this case, the surface weld. All right, let's go down to 37. here. We don't have anything showing. It's not telling us how long 
long these are. Yeah, so we, we just we don't really know. I mean, if this was taken from further away, uh, into an inch, we wouldn't be able to really see there. Up here, if we zoomed in on this, maybe this side is three eighths and this side's a quarter. So we don't know. So, I mean, it'd be A or B for position of the well, but B is the answer. Have it. Go to thirty-eight. See. Yeah. All right. So we don't have any uh, well length or pitch. This well symbol. So all we know is we have to build those sides. Yeah, if it had a circle right here, it would be D. It had some skip weld and gave us dimensions. It might be well, it wouldn't be this one because those triangles would have to be square. It wouldn't be this one either. It could be that one if we had dimensions. the top and one to three across the bottom and I mean that that would work. They're not gonna be staggered in between each other. Evenly all the way across. So this one is C thirty nine. Um, on this one, I, I feel you. There's no nothing oh, yeah, measuring it out uh, on there, so I'm, I feel you on that. Um, but on this one, because they're it's pretty close. So I, got, I have B on here, and I understand where you're coming from on that. Because we can go down some rabbit holes. Well, what is that number? When we're talking about a spot weld, uh, what is the Parentheses represent. Number spot Number spot wells. So our diameter, if we had one, would be over here. And then our pitch would be over here. That would be your diameter, that would be your pitch. This is how many? And then anything inside here would be uh yeah, forty one C. Uh forty two D D forty three Three's A, forty-four, B, B. B. forty-five, 
45, I got D. All right, so uh, felt welds are gonna be on both sides. But in this case, they're gonna be staggered, intermittent, because we have the uh, length and pitch, and then we also have our little symbols staggered. 46. 47, 48, 48, 49, 50, um, 45, or 50, I've got C, and you know, oh, the, the reason is because, let's go to 50. See this right here? That right there is denoting the, the, di the diameter. Right, so that's going to be a one inch diameter. If that wasn't there, we could possibly have a slot. So in this case, this is showing, looking from the top, as we have a circle. This is going to be one inch. If we had a slot. maybe one inch that way, but we don't have a dimension for how long it is. So a slot's going to be oblong versus a slot having a diameter. So in this case right here, because it shows the, the diameter, that's going to be the other arrow side plug weld versus slot. So 50 will be C. Out of 51. Well, let's see here. What is the arrow side depth of preparation? Remember, arrow side's the bottom. Yep. So the number that's to the left of the parentheses is going to be the preparation. What's inside the parentheses is going to be the weld size, how much we fill it up. All right. Those get uh, those get kind of confusing. Just want to remember that. Fifty-two, a, okay. fifty-three, uh, B, fifty-four, C. D, fifty-five, E. e. Fifty-five. You just take your three eighths plus your nine sixteenths, and you get fifteen sixteenths.